limit there, Tracy, but you can see he's just managed to open up that advantage a little bit as he was... Oh, we've got another yellow flag. Big Richie accident, Hurd. Richie Hearn, Parker Johnston. Oh, another car spinning in avoidance. Roberto Moreno has spun in avoidance at the back of that, but it's Re there's Roberto. He simply spun uh, to, to avoid the wrecked cars as they came out of turn three, but the other cars of Richie Hearn and Parker Johnstone much more heavily involved. It's Parker Johnstone's car up on the left is the white and green car, and down on the inside, he's come down onto the pit lane entrance, is the car of Richie Hearn. That's the red and white car. So that really throws a spanner in the works. It means that we'll have to have another restart. This is going to be a long yellow flag, I would imagine, because we've got 33 laps to go. Remember, each of the laps will count as they go around behind the pace car. Every lap will still count towards the race distance. And they'll go nice and slowly now because they don't really want to come back round to that area until they have to. Roberto Moreno should be able to be push started once again. He'll be gotten out of the way fairly quickly. I don't think he actually hit anything, but it's the other car of Parker Johnston and Richie Hearn that will cause the problems. Give me a push, says Roberto there, and uh, the, can we see the incident there? Ooh, Parker oh, Johnston dear. climbing up the wall there. Boy, that's a nasty uh, looking. It's a great shame. Those two are both doing a good job. Richie Hearn, there's a couple of people squeezing through. Greg Moore, was that uh, Raul Boisel, I think, on the grass missing those two, or Scott Pruitt, one of the two. Let's take another, another view. Let's see. Parker Johnston and Richie Hearn were looking for. And they spun. Well, in fact, Parker spun it first, didn't he? Parker had lost it. Richie had absolutely nowhere to go but to hit the car. And Parker did a sort of uh, wall of death act around the outside on the concrete wall. And how everyone else managed to miss them was absolutely amazing. We got a written interview with Richie. I was just an innocent victim. Parker should have let everybody go by him some time ago because I think he was lapped down and, and you know, I just got caught out so. Sometimes that happens guys, he's on his way.